Have you ever been excited to compile your code only to be hit with an error message that stops you in your tracks? It's frustrating, right? If you're facing the glibcxec 3.4.21 not found error on CentOS 7 after updating your GCC version, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I completely understand how annoying it is when you think you're making progress only to be stopped by a cryptic error message. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced similar issues when upgrading their compilers. Let's dive into the specific situation at hand. One user recently updated their GCC version from 4.7 to 5.4 on CentOS 7. After the update, they encountered the error message stating that XX 3.4.21 not found when trying to compile their program. Sound familiar? If so, let's work through this together. So what does this error mean? Essentially, it indicates that the version of the C++ standard library installed on your system does not support the features required by the newer GCC version. This can happen when the library is outdated or incompatible with the new compiler. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To resolve the glibcxx version issue, the user should first check the current version of the libstdcc plus library installed on their system. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user needs to ensure that they have the correct version of the libc++ library that includes glibxxx 3.4.21. This may require updating or installing a newer version of the library. After updating, the user should verify that the new version of the library is correctly installed. This can be done by checking the library path and confirming the version again. If the correct version is still not found, the user may need to consider installing a newer version of GCC that is compatible with the required libstdc++ version. This can be done using a specific repository. Finally, the user should enable the new GCC version and check if the issue is resolved. This can be done by starting a new shell session with the updated environment. Fun fact, the new C++ library has been around for decades and it continues to evolve. Just like us, it needs to keep up with the times. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution comes from a user who didn't have sudo access on their CentOS machine. They suggest installing GCC using Conda. If you do this, the previous solutions may not work. First, check your GCC installation path with the command which GCC. This will show you where GCC is installed, for example, in a Conda environment. Then, export the library path to include the lib directory of that environment. This can be done with the command export ld library path, followed by the path to the lib directory. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests locating your installed GCC directory and updating the L library path. For example, if your GCC is installed in slash US local GCC slash 7.0, you would set the LDLRI path to include the lib64 directory. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution suggests that the issue arises because your libc++o.6 library does not include glixxx34.21. To resolve this, you need to replace that library. The user found that by examining libctdc++.so60.28, they could see the available glisccx versions. They recommend recreating the symbolic link with this library to fix the problem. Here's the tip I promised. Always check compatibility between your GCC version and the libctdc++ library. Keeping them in sync can save you a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. You should be able to compile your program without any issues now. Remember, keeping your development environment updated is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and don't miss our next video on optimizing your coding workflow.